Game of Thrones actors don't exactly have a strong track record outside of being in Game of Thrones. And I'm specifically talking about people who weren't already famous before appearing in the best yet equally most disappointing show of all time. Kit Harington hasn't been in anything great, Richard Madden was a decent Prince Charming in Cinderella, I guess, Sophie Turner is awfully bland as Jean Grey, and Amelia Clark, my one true love, hasn't been in anything great either. But finally, I think I found a performance from a GOT actor that I actually enjoy outside of GOT. Granted, this is not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination, but it was decent enough for me to want to talk about. So let's. Macy Williams plays Skye, a teenage girl with a terminal illness. Cancer. It's it's cancer. She tells you about a million times. But her life takes quite a turn for the better when she meets a hypochondriac named Calvin. And together, the two push each other to achieve their dreams. Now, why exactly am I reviewing a romantic drama that came out in February when I clearly wasn't the target audience to begin with? Well, my friends made me watch it, and so, yeah, here I am. Maybe now you'll think twice before making me watch a movie. But all kidding aside, despite how cliched this film may be, I was actually surprised to see how heartwarming and downright cute certain moments were. I'd be lying if I said specific scenes did not tug on my heartstrings. And that was quite refreshing, considering everything else about Then Came You is reminiscent to that of a generic Hallmark movie. And I think the film transcends its more generic subject matter thanks to the performances of its two main leads, Macy Williams and Aza Butterfield. Skye isn't exactly your typical cancer patient, or at the very least, not one that we're used to seeing on the big screen. Sky wants her final days being spent feeling alive, so she has this crazy and wacky bucket list that she forces her friend to do with her. And it was just fun and entertaining watching some of the shenanigans this character gets into. She isn't afraid to shamelessly throw around her cancer in an attempt to play the sympathy card with other people. And I just thought that was funny because you don't normally see that personality trait in a protagonist character. And I also think it refreshingly emphasizes the fact that cancer patients, as with any other human with a disability or illness, are just people too and treating them differently just because of their illness sometimes takes away their sense of humanity. But don't get me wrong, the movie isn't that deep. Macy Williams isn't pulling an Ansel Elgort or anything because this film is definitely no fault in our stars. But still, she's pretty good. And Aza Butterfield isn't so bad either. I feel like I haven't seen him in a while, so it was nice to see him in something again, I guess. He plays a timid and shy character who also happens to suffer from hypochondria for some reason. But he serves as a nice contrast to Skye's more outgoing personality. I bought the chemistry between the two actors and could see how two individuals like these two characters could have a blossoming, albeit platonic, relationship together. Also, just with how Butterfield acts in general, I still think he would have made a good Spider-Man. But I am thankful that Tom Holland fixed things up with Disney before Sony decided to reboot the damn franchise again. But anyway, David Cochner is in this movie for no real reason because he doesn't play any sort of comedic relief and his dramatic chops aren't that great. And Ken Jeong's comedic character isn't all that funny either, so that's a bummer. I mean, the rest of the cast is rather forgettable anyway. It's pretty hard to keep making bland and generic jokes when people casted in this movie are literally from the CW. But with all of that being said, Then Came You is actually a pretty sweet and adorable little film. It has its cute moments, most of which are far more memorable than anything you'll see on the Hallmark Channel. For every awkward and cliched scene, like that of Aza Butterfield dancing around for no reason, there's an equally heartwarming and touching scene involving Skye's more vulnerable side. So if you're a guy and your girlfriend wants to put on a romantic drama while watching Netflix, Then Came You isn't that bad of an option. You might actually enjoy some of it, because I would probably give the movie 3 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching.